it's Brianna and today I am filming my January favorites. I skipped a few months last year but this year I'm hopefully going to be able to hit all of them. Fingers crossed. Sorry about this glare in front of my face. I'm filming in front of a window with the sun and stuff and it's just not going well. Anyway, I have a few favorites I'm really excited for this month so I'm just going to jump right in. First start off with a couple foundations I've been liking. And the first one is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous Foundation. Oh, there you go. My cap's really gross because it like squirted everywhere. Whatever. I've been really liking this. I mean, I heard everyone talking about it on YouTube, like literally everyone. Um, but I had been using the Revlon Color Stay one, which I love and still probably one of my favorites. But I have been liking this one a lot. Oddly, I'm not as sold as like everyone else is on it, like even though it's in my favorites video, so I mean I like it, but People seem to like really be in love with it, like it like changed their world kind of foundation and it just like, it's like whatever to me, I mean, it looks nice, I've been liking it, so yeah. <laughs> um, but what I have been doing is mixing it with my other favorite, which is the Garnier BB Cream, whoa, there we go, which I know a lot of people were talking about in the summer, and I did use it in the summer. And I really liked it. Like, it just, like, it seemed to set really well with my skin and just, like, work really well. So I started using it again. But I got the wrong color, so, oops. Yeah, I like mixing them together just to make this a little less full coverage because I feel like that's kind of almost the reason I don't like it, which is surprising. It's just, like, almost too much coverage. Like, it looks unnatural on me. But when I mix it with this, it seems to be a little more light and um, natural looking. So I like that to go out. Next are a couple lip products. I've been really into lip products lately and specifically, like, pink lips. Like... I've been on the hunt for like the perfect pink lipstick just because I seem to have a lot of like dark dark reds or just like purpley colors because that's always what I've liked in the past but I just really lately have just wanted like pink like I just want pink stuff and so I literally was at the store the other day for like hours just like trying to find pink lip stuff um, and these are three that I picked up that I really been like I picked up a few more but these are my three favorites that I got this month that I love so the first one which is what I'm wearing right now is the Revlon Color Burst Lip Butter in Lollipop? Yeah, Lollipop. Super pretty. It looks really bright, but as you can see, like it's just pretty natural looking on. And I love it. It's just like a nice, pretty, pinky, raspberry kind of color. And I like it. And these are really nice because you can, like, I mean, everyone loves these, but you can, like, build it, you know what I mean? So, like, if you put it only, like, one layer on, then it's gonna be, like, pretty natural looking. And then you can kind of build it to make it darker and darker whatever you want next one is kind of a weird one that i picked up but kind of just like because it was actually being like discontinued and i wasn't sure if that's like from the actual line or just like from my store i wasn't actually sure but it's a physician's formula one and it's called ph matchmaker which is interesting and i really don't know actually they're just in the color pink there's two colors i'm not sure what the other one was called but it's called, yeah ph power lip gloss and just is pink anyway but the idea is basically that it's like it reacts with your with like chemicals i don't know how to say that exactly your personalness to like make your to make a perfect color and yeah and it's cute it's just like a lip gloss it's like has a little brush and all of that and it goes on I mean, it looks kind of pink but it goes on pretty clear and then like in the next like couple seconds it'll like go into your perfect color and me and my sister have been loving this we've been sharing it um because it looks different on everyone so that's cool the only thing that is kind of upsetting, it's like kind of sticky. It's pretty sticky for lip gloss, like on the stickier side of lip glosses. But it also stays a really long time. So even after like after the glossiness goes away, like the color's still there. So that's cool. And another thing, cool thing just about the bottles, like first of all, it has a mirror here, which I just find very exciting and you know very useful. And then like this part on here, there's like a button on the very end of it, and it lights up. Like so, like when you're putting it on, like. You can like look in the dark and be like, ooh, I'm clubbing and now I'm gonna put on lip gloss. And I thought that was really exciting because I'm really excited about weird things. Then the last one is one of these CoverGirl smoochies. And I heard a couple of people talking about these and so I wanted to try them out. There's a lot of pretty color, pink colors, so me and my sister were looking at them and I think she got a few also. Um, but I got the killer hashtag love you. And all of them are hashtags, which I just kind of meh, whatever. Anyway, so basically, it's just like a very just normal. Oh my god, this. Do you see? Do you see? Do you see my struggle? There. It's over there. You see? So basically, it's just like this really just almost your lips, but like a little bit better kind of color, which is kind of what I wanted. Just a little bit more pink, you know? And that's what it was. So that I love this. 
And if you ever, like, use smackers, like, when you're little, like, the cute little smackers and all the different flavors, this is what this smells like. Just straight up smackers. So, that's cute. The first one is this Neutrogena Rapid Clear 2-in-1 Fight and Fade Gel. Whoa. So basically, I use this every night before I go to bed, like after I put my make or take my makeup off. I just put it on all my kind of problem areas, and I think it's helping. It helps a lot. Like, if I have like a new zit coming or something, and I'll put this on, the next day it'll be like almost gone. So I've been really liking that. And then next one is this hair oil that I got. It's called Renewing Argan Oil of Morocco. Basically, just this hair oil that I'll use after I get out of the shower, or sometimes even my dry hair, like after I'll curl it or something, I'll kind of run it through the ends or to make it a little more soft looking. And I really have noticed a difference, like, in the softness and, like, healthiness of my hair because a lot of time it would just, like, after a day or something, like, really frizz out of the bottom just be really gross because it was so unhealthy. But now it looks pretty normal. So I've been liking that. I guess it could be like, kind of a fashion favorite, but also not. Are my glasses. So I recently got new glasses. I wear glasses just, like, to see far away. Kind of, like, some movies and, like, um if I'm in school and stuff like that, like that kind of stuff. And I recently got to pick out new frames and I got these ones and I'm in love with them. So they're basically like the biggest, they're Ray-Ban. And they're basically like, just like the hugest Ray-Bans that my office had. And they're beautiful and I love them. So those have been a favorite of mine, definitely. First fashion favorite is definitely this cardigan. So, okay, like my friend got me this cardigan. It's from Charlotte Russe. Um, she got it for me for Christmas, and I literally haven't taken it off since. I wear it an offensive amount of time, and it's beautiful. And it's basically, yeah, just like this kind of gray and white kind of pattern that kind of looks, or this black and white pattern that kind of looks gray from far away, and then it has just these like weird kind of DNA looking designs, and then it has, what I love about it a lot is it has like pockets right here at the bottom, so I like put my hands in it like while I'm walking and stuff like that, and I think that's adorable. And it's yeah, just simple. It's pretty much like what it is the whole way down here. And I love it. Like, it's so cozy. Like you, the right. I could have tried it on while she was there, and then I freaked out and said I wanted it, and she bought me for me like a couple days later. But like right when I put it on, I knew it was just like this is the most comfortable thing I've ever put on. So, my other fashion favorites are my black moccasins. I got these at Target. I just wanted some simple black ones that I can wear all the time and I literally wear them all the time. They're just so simple and like comfy and I can wear them with anything because they're black. And so yeah, I love that. Uh, first two teas that I've been really liking lately, or just tea in general I've been really liking, but that's kind of like not a new thing. So the first one is just this like Lichten green tea super fruit with dragon fruit melon and acai berries so basically i've been trying to like drink green tea lately because it's supposed to be really good for you and i just like am not a green tea lover like i like black teas and more like spicier teas like things like that and like, green tea is just never been i've been like passion tea like fruity teas and just do not like green tea usually but it's just so good for you and so i've been trying to like wean myself onto it and i like read this like article about it it was saying that if you didn't like green tea that you should start off with like flavored green teas and then just kind of go from there and so that's what i've been doing and i really really do actually like this a lot so i think i'm getting in the right direction and then also another one that i actually picked up more recently at the end of the month but i love it already is this yogi soothing caramel bedtime tea so i like the idea of just like having a tea that you drink right before you go to bed to kind of calm down your system and like while you're thinking or like reading you know that kind of stuff so yeah i really like that and so i was looking for kind of like just bedtime you know non-caffeinated kind of teas um and this one just sounded adorable or delicious because it's like caramel uh, so i've been liking that a lot a couple other favorites that i really don't have with me but that i've been loving this month is first just like straight up just like vanilla lattes and vanilla like cappuccinos i've been loving me and my friend have been trying out like local bakeries and stuff like that and, like cafes and stuff like that and a lot of like our local bakeries and cafes are kind of like organic and healthy and stuff like that and so they don't have like a lot of flavors but the most of them do just have like vanilla so i've been trying out a lot of different kind of vanilla lattes and cappuccinos from um cafes and i've just been like actually really really liking them also with that i've been loving chocolate croissants and also another baked good god i'm just like being like a fatty this month macaroons i've always loved macaroons but like i've had like 
a lot of macros this month, and I'm not even done, not even sorry about it. Because, again, going to different bakeries, a lot of bakeries will have, like, cute macaroons, and I've been trying those, and I'm just very happy about it all. Alright, a music favorite that I have is the 1975. So, everyone has been talking about the 1975, which I think funny is funny because... Um, I've liked them for a while. When their city came out, they were on Conan, and my dad had actually introduced me to them. He's like, oh, I heard this band. You should go check them out. I think you'd like them. Um, and I did. I checked them out, and he told me to listen to Chocolate, because that was the song that they had performed. And so I really liked that song, and then I also just looked in a couple other ones, and I, like, had liked City, um, or The City. And so I really just, like, but I almost kind of just stopped at that, just because they hadn't really, they weren't that popular then, and so there wasn't, like, a lot of videos and stuff like that. Um, but those are the two that I could find, and so I had listened to those, and I, like, downloaded those, and, like like that but then I just kind of forgot about it like then they sort of like being brought up more kind of like re sparked my love for them I guess and so I went back and like looked online to see what else they, what kind of other songs they have so like that and I just like totally fell in love with my favorite songs are Settle Down, Robbers, Sex are probably those what those are probably my three top favorites and then I really like The City and Chocolate and yeah so if you haven't listened to them you should definitely go check them out so i think that's actually all my favorites for this month um, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and comment below some things that you've been liking this month some of your favorites also leave comments below on some videos i should make because i'm always looking for new ideas and i want to make things that you guys want to watch i think that's it so i'll see you guys later bye